Good morning everyone, welcome to the official YouTube channel of Officer Sajjai 24-7. My name is Aman Chowat and I am here with all of you to discuss the another session on the questions regarding ethics. Okay, so as we all know that the ethics is a fourth module in your new syllabus or the new syllabi of GIV. So we are discussing about ethics. So today again we are talk about the questions related to ethics. Okay, uh, today also we are going to practice certain questions related to ethics. Okay. So before starting the session, those candidates who have joined us in the session, do let me know is audio video both are okay, are we good to go? So let me know is audio and video both are okay. So uh, coming to us the session, first of all, if you have not downloaded the 247 application here, then do put the application. Because here you will find all the data regarding upcoming batches, the content regarding your exam. Apart from that, the one additional uh, percent discount will be available to all of you if you purchase any particular product from the application. Now, if you have not subscribed the channel, Officers are at 24-7, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon uh, so that all the upcoming sessions notification will be given to you. Okay, so this is the particular channel where you will get all the information regarding any updates from the IIBF about your conceptual classes, MCQ classes, practice classes, marathon, strategy classes, everything. So answer of all your queries will be available on Office of 24-7 regarding JIB, CIB and bank promotion exams. So do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon also. Okay. So do let me know immediately on the chat section that audio video both are okay. Are we good to go? So that I will be continuing the session. Give me a thumbs up or something so that I will be knowing that everything is okay. In today's session, we are going to talk about the module D, ethics important questions. So we are going to talk about the, we are going to practice the questions related to the ethics. We have seen what is ethics. Ethics is simply a systematic study of human nature to know the right and wrong decisions and then doing the right thing is known as ethics. So when it comes to the ethics, there is an individual ethics, there is a business ethics also. The business ethics is a study of workplace where what kind of manners we should follow, what kind of a standard we should follow. Okay, so the systematic study of knowing what is right and what is wrong and then doing the right thing is known as ethics. Whether it is an individual ethics, whether it is a business ethics. Okay. Now let's just start. So before starting the session, this is the offer for all of you. Right now, 81% off is going on with the double validity on the all GIB and CIB Mahapax. So you can see that the 81% off with the double validity is available. And this offer will there till 12 p.m. only. To enroll, you can use the code Y496. Okay. Now about the batch of the GIB, upcoming batch of the GIB and about this offer, I will be letting you know in the end of the session. Okay, so let's start with the question practice. So the ethics MCQ we are going to discuss. The first question in front of you is this. First question is asking about professional practicing equality in providing access to vital information, providing equal opportunities, to qualifying ones comes under. It's a, is it a responsibility, fairness, honest or sincerity? Good morning, Rohan. The question is asking that professional practicing equality in providing the access to the information, that very important information, providing equal opportunities to qualifying ones, That comes under which of the following terms? Is it a responsibility of a professional practicing equality? Or is it a fairness? Or is it a honest? Or is it a, is it a sincerity? What you are doing the professional practicing equality, you are practicing equality. You are being, uh, you are doing justice to everyone. You are being equal to everyone. You are providing equal opportunities. You are providing same information to what you are doing, you are being fair with the employees. Anna, you are being fair with your employees and being fair will be means fairness. So this is a fairness. Very good, Rohan. 
when it comes to the professional practicing equality when you are being equal with everyone when you are being uh, uh, when you are doing justice with everyone that will be known as your equality okay it will be known as your equality means fairness next business ethic comprises so what is business ethics we have discussed that the kind of uh, study of the workplace to know what is right and wrong and then doing the right thing is the business ethics so business ethic comprises of what first is saying law and regulation that guide behavior in the world of business second is saying more values and custom that guide behavior in general third is saying morale principles and standard that guide behavior in the world of business fourth is saying the obligations businesses assume to maximize their positive impact and minimize their negative impact on the society so what do you think which of the following is correct regarding the business ethics which of the following is correct about the business ethics is it a law and regulations that guide the world of business is it a more to values or customs that guide the behavior in general the or is it a moral principle or the standard that guides the behavior in the world of work or the business or the fourth one is saying the obligation businesses assume to maximize their positive impact and the minimize their negative impact on society which of the following is correct let me know so the right answer for this particular question will be your c that it is a moral principles and the standards that guide the behavior in the world of business okay so we have discussed that business ethics is simply a study of workplace what you are doing it is a study of workplace and to know what is right or what is wrong and doing the right thing is the work ethics okay so first you are studying the uh, workplace first you are studying your workplace uh, knowing what is right and what is wrong for the business and then you are doing the right thing then you are creating a code of conduct then you are creating a certain standard then you are creating a certain moral principle that is guiding the behavior how to work in a workplace that will be known as your business ethics so it will be c not d okay it will be c next when an individual fails to keep his commitment he is not following the principle of dash so when a person is not fulfilling his commitment and you know, whatever the duty of the person is there whatever the accountability of that person is there but the person is not fulfilling the principles or not able to fulfill that commitment now this is the principle of what honesty integrity responsibility accountability so the following will be correct when the person is fails to keep commitments it is a principle of what so honesty means being honest okay when you are doing everything right honesty means when you are doing everything right you are following the rules and regulation etc that's the honesty integrity means when there is a continuity in the honesty when in the behavior of a person when there is a continuity to the person being continue honest that is the integrity okay and responsibility means the uh, work or your duties that you have to perform and accountability means you are taking charge of doing anything right or anything wrong in the organization that is the accountability no rohan it can't be accountability because you are not taking charge of anything right here the question is only saying that individual fails to keep his commitment so whatever commitment he has given he is he failed to uh, fulfill that so it can't be accountability it can't be responsibility uh, shanti saying no it's not a honesty it's a integrity because integrity is the kind of a principle in which a person continuously being honest okay every time person is doing a right thing 
that is the integrity so when a person fails to keep his commitment that's the integrity okay next honesty and fairness relate to the general dash of decision makers honesty and fairness relate to the general dash of decision maker so it's, it is a unethicalness it is a trust a trustworthiness is it a ethicalness or is it a employability so when there is a honesty and fairness that relate to general dash of decision maker so decision makers are deciding what to do and what not to do and in that situation they have decided to provide what to provide honesty and fairness at the workplace so your decision makers the authority of the office the authority at the workplace are being what unethical trustworthy ethical or employability let me know which of the following is correct honesty means you are following the rules you are not uh, you are following rules you are not doing anything wrong is honesty fairness means you are being equal to everyone you are giving same opportunity to everyone you are sharing same information with everyone so when you give the equality to each and every employee of your organization that is known as fairness and if your decision makers are making a policy that introduce the honesty and fairness in the general that means the person or the decision makers are being ethicalness okay so this is the general ethicalness of the decision maker okay like they are being ethical and they are deciding that there should be a honesty and fairness in the organization so this is they are being a general ethicalness okay of the decision makers next ethical reasoning is the process of recognizing which includes which of the following so what is ethical reasoning i think a reasoning is process of recognizing so it includes what first is saying selecting the course of action second is saying determining reasonable course of action third is saying decision require ethical judgment and fourth is saying all of the above which of the following is correct so when ethical reasoning uh, we are talking about ethical reasoning it is simply a process of recognizing each and everything so it covers everything it means all of the above Okay, it includes all of the above. So the selecting of course of action, what kind of course of action should be taken? It determine the reasonable course of action, like why this course of action should be taken. Then decision require ethical judgment. So when you are taking decision, you have to require the ethical judgment to prove that this is the right thing to do. So that is known as ethical reasoning. Okay, so right answer will be all of the above. Yes, very good. D will be the right answer. So do let me know out of five how many answer you have given correct. Out of five, how many answers you have given correct? Till then, I will let you know the, about the offer. So this is the offer going on. Eighty-one percent off is going on on all the GIB products. So right now, the new batch will be going to start from sixteenth of December. Okay, the batch is going to start from sixteenth of December. And to enroll, you use you can use a code Y four nine six that will be given you. 81% off and this offer is still 12 pm only after that the offer will be remain for 78% only right and there is a double validity going on on all the maha packs 81% off and double validity is going on on all the maha pack again this offer will be there till your uh, 12 pm after that this offer will also end double validity will not be there apart from that 81% discount will not be there it will be only your 78% is
so what is the difference between target batch and the but uh, maha packs in the target batch you will be getting only the live classes that we can say conceptual classes but when it comes to the uh, maha pack you will be getting the live classes conceptual classes upcoming revision batches at the time of exam the mcq batches the case study batches e books test series everything which will be introduced on the website that will be enrolled in your account okay so to enroll you have to go to the jib and cib section if you have a application do make sure you purchase from the application because you will get 1% additional discount then if you want to enroll in the target batch individual you have to click here jib 23 you will find the target batches here if you want to go with the english medium batch just click on the batch and read all the details the study plan will be available very soon so you have to click on the buy now when you click on the buy now here you have to enter the code that is y496 and click on the apply so you can see here 80% of it is showing but 1% additional discount will be available from the application so 81% discount it means around 3800 you have to pay to enroll in the individual target batch and the validity of this batch will be your 8 months okay but if you go with the jib cib maha pack that will be beneficial for you because you will be getting there more content in the less prices so this is the maha pack click on the jib cib maha pack to read details it will cover old as well as new syllabi it will cover all live classes test series video course e books everything will be covered and cib uh, elective paper also will be covered so it is covering everything which is required to qualify the jib as well as cib for the next 2 years because the validity is going on double validity so you have to enter a code y496 and click on the apply when you apply you will find 80% of it is showing 1% additional discount will be available from the application so you have to pay around 10500 and 2 years validity with the jib cib all the materials all the content will be available so if you enroll in the maha pack nothing you have to do i mean in the next 2 years because everything will be available so this is the one and only investment in the jib and cib that is going to definitely help you to qualify your jib and cib exam okay so this is the jib cib maha pack do remember the offer will remain till 12 pm today only after that the discount will be 78% and there will be no double validity it will be available for one year so this is the right time to enroll if you are thinking about it okay so let's end the session here uh, and we will meet tomorrow uh, again today at uh, 8 am with the indian economy and indian financial system okay so if you are new to the channel of officer 247 do not forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that all the upcoming notification of the sessions will be given to you if you like the session do not forget to press the like button and share the session with your friends and colleagues on the social media platform wherever you are linked with them so that they will be joining us all every day in the session okay so thank you for joining the joining the session a very good score rohan so let's meet at 8 am thank you and take care have a very good day